Hi, this is Ray Graylack. In my previous video, I showed how to set up EPCC to create advanced peer flip limits that work identically on both peer sides. In this video, I'm using EPCC Pro version 1.7.0.25, but you can use EPCC Standard 17024 or any later version of Standard or Pro that comes out after this video. I am starting the mount from Park 3, which by default is on the west pier side. First I will unpark the mount, then immediately slew to a counterweight up position on the east pier side. If you watched the last video, this corresponds to the second of three possible behaviors that can occur when APCC has east and west limits overlap like they are. To review, go to's that end up inside the meridian limit region east of the meridian will slew to the east pier side pointed east of the meridian with counterweight up. Next I will pick a slew point that will drive the mount into the first area I mentioned in my last video. Again to review, the first area has go-tos that end up east of the meridian limit. The mount will slew the telescope east of the meridian with the counterweight down. The pier side will be west in this area. Next, I will perform a slew to the last region, which will cause the mount to be pointing west of the meridian, counterweight down, and pier side east. That covers all three cases. And now for some fun. Today I created a little utility to test slews. I'm going to now execute 100 slews. It took about 45 minutes to do these slews. There were no peer collisions. It's condensed down to four minutes. Have fun watching. 